After King David died, his son Solomon became king of Israel. One night, God came to Solomon in a dream. Ask for anything you want, and I will give it to you. Lord, my God, you have allowed me to be king in my father's place. But I am like a little child. I do not have the wisdom I need to do what I must do. So I ask that you give me wisdom. Wisdom to know the difference between right and wrong. The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for wisdom. Since you asked for wisdom and not long life or riches or the death of your enemies, I will give you what you asked. Your wisdom will be greater than anyone has ever had in the past. So God gave Solomon everything he needed to become a great king. One day, two women brought a baby to Solomon. One woman said, My master, this woman and I live in the same house. We each gave birth to a baby the same week. No one else was in the house with us. One night, this woman's baby died. So during the night, she took my son from my bed while I was asleep and put the dead baby in my bed. But the other woman said, No. The living baby is my son. The dead baby is yours. So the two women argued in front of the king. But Solomon knew just what to do to find out who the real mother was. Bring me a sword. So his servants brought the sword. Cut the living baby into two pieces and give each woman half. The servants were shocked, but the king remained firm. So as the sword was raised, one woman cried out, No, don't hurt the baby. Give him to her. But the other woman said, Neither of us will have him. Cut him in half. Woman, your son. When the people of Israel heard about King Solomon's decision, they knew God had given him wisdom to make the right decisions.